So I'm just trying to set up my Antec 1008C oscilloscope. Oscilloscope. Took me all morning to be honest. The box, well, the software it came from, the disc was empty. So no drivers, no software. But I found it. That's it. Well, I bought a golden Antec. Found the English supplier. Click on that. And you got download. Application software and driver. So I went to application software and downloaded the 1008A. I know you want to see, but that seems to be working. <laughs> oh no, actually, sorry, it was the 1008 software, not the A. We'll just see if there's a C on there, just kind of missed it. No. It's possible there might be a C on there, so it's probably worth a look through before you do it. And then driver. Okay, my battery ran out there, sorry. So that's the driver downloaded. You should have an next one, another one that's the same application, but I've already done that. So basically, when I uh, my screen is focused, sorry. <laughs> uh, click on when I first clicked on the application to start the app to start. I got that sign. Not suitable, device not found. And then it was plugged in. So basically, I had to go here, yeah, device managers, to the device manager. Comes up, you find your USB universal serial bus controllers, click on it. And there's nothing there, obviously. <laughs> I'll just plug this in. I've got to plug the scope in now. The light should come on top. And it's found it. The serial bus controller finds it. Now that added an exclamation mark next to it. Because it didn't have a driver. So basically you click on it, driver, driver details, update driver, you know how to do all that, update driver, sorry. I'll press that one by accident, but it should be on your computer, I'll press that one by accident and it found it and loaded it up and everything's been alright so far, so try both, if that one don't work, try that one. Make sure you've got a good internet signal though if you're going to do the internet search. Alright, let's try and load that up. So, no suitable device found. Oh, we found it. <laughs> I'll just test that though. There might be a demo. I don't know what happened there. When you start, you plug your USB in first, let the machine obviously connect with the computer. Do that and you should get no message. It should just come straight up. And that's working now. I'll just test it. This is reading off my hand. Now that was reading on a flat line, 200 millivolts. 
I mean, uh, last night it was a, I don't know what sleep does to you, it was re energise you. Now I've got some crazy patterns going through me. But then again, that's me with not touching it. And it's just one channel one, 200 millivolts, DC times one. One second, five milliseconds. Let's touch it. Well, I've got to do a bit of practice with it yet. I'll get linked up to the car. See how it does on cars. But so far it seems alright. Easy to set up. Good quality leads and connectors and that so should be okay for what I need.